These are the Devolo DLAN 1200 Plus Wi-Fi AC Powerline Adapters. Alright, so here we have some pretty standard packaging from something you'd expect to see on the shelves of Curry's or PC World or something like that that tells you exactly what you want to know and it should make my job an awful lot easier here today. So these are from Devolo. They are, well, as it says, finally Wi-Fi anywhere. They uh, cure weak Wi-Fi and they have a DLAN 1200 plus Wi-Fi AC add-on adapter setup inside. Big friendly boxes telling you exactly what you need to know and easy to read pictures. There's an integrated socket, Wi-Fi AC standard and two times gigabyte LAN inside. That'll be these little doohickeys here. So revolutionary in simplicity, uh, the best reception for smartphones and tablets and finally Wi-Fi in any room. How handy is that and how easy is this to read? Very simple. All right, so this other box here is the starter kit, which is the main part of it. The starter kit here retails for about 160 pounds, 159.99, whereas the add-on kit sits at 109.99. Those are pretty heavy prices for what these claim to do, so you would expect to have the most robust Wi-Fi available to mankind between the two of them in your home setup. So what we'll do is we'll get them ripped open and have a look inside and see what there is. But actually, before we do that, we'll have a quick look at the back of the box here, because if you want to pause it, you can have a read through some of these specifications, and it really lays out exactly what this does very simply and efficiently for a novice. On the bottom, there's a bit more of a breakdown. We have uh, Apple App Store and Google Play both have apps available for it, and there's a QR code here for you to find that easily. Then up here, it says we have integrated AC Wi-Fi and four antennas, 2.4 and 5 gigahertz. There's also an integrated socket, Range Plus technology, which I'm guessing is a Devolo type thing, as, as we see here. And uh, Wi-Fi Move, DLAN encryption, Wi-Fi Move technology, Wi-Fi clone, Wi-Fi on off and WPS. And it's compatible with most major operating systems from Windows Vista and above, including Mac OS and Linux. So once out of the packaging, we have the Devolo instruction manual, which is very easy to follow, set on top. I honestly like Devolo instruction manuals very well because you have a illustration on one side and English on, or well, a language on the other side telling you exactly what to do. And on the back side of the, uh, the unit, we have a Wi-Fi key, which I have to remember whenever I'm wiggling about in front of the camera. It's a very simple manual to follow, but Devolo are excellent at it. So here is the main unit, actually. Um, this is smaller than the other unit. Having a quick look around, you can see on the top here, we have probably a WPS button, I think that is, or just a Wi-Fi reset, maybe, and then a, a, like a network connection button. It is actually quite large, I suppose, going down. This is about half a foot long, but the, uh, the plug at the bottom is a very handy addition. It means that you can plug something else in through this and not lose your plug to a power line adapter. So at the bottom here, there's very little. We have the three pin plug there. And then on this side, there's nothing but a grill, the two Ethernet gigabyte ports on the top, plus a little light, probably, I'm, I'm guessing. Um, maybe it's reset button, I'm not sure. And that's that's about it for this. There's, there's nothing else to speak of. It is quite large. However, it is the right way round for me. I've noticed that uh, the new standard for plugs is about knee height whenever they're doing a new build. However, old houses, they were about ankle height. And whenever you put a power line adapter into the plug socket in an ankle height plug, um, you actually have trouble with the bottom where the Ethernet adapters may come out the bottom. Things can be a bit snug down there if they fit at all. And you have to start looking for weird right angle Ethernet cables to be able to uh, plug into the bottom here. However, if they're on the top, you know, whilst uh, it could be a little bit uglier with uh, the Ethernet cables coming out the top and round, especially whenever these things are at knee height, uh, that would probably be preferable to have them at the bottom. So it's a, it's a win some, lose some, pros and cons, depends entirely on your, your home setup as to whether or not you're going to like this. 
The other unit here is the main unit. This is the one that we plug directly into the router and does most of the hard work. You have the, uh, the three pin plug at the bottom. There is a little light here to let you know that action is happening. And on the bottom here, there's nothing on the side here. There is a reset button of, of sorts. I, I don't like these buttons particularly, but that seems to be quite clickable. The Ethernet was up top there, and then there's nothing on the side here. So this is the main brains of the system, and it uh, pushes all of the information out to the other DLAN adapters. Elsewhere in the box, we have a, a Cat5 cable, I'm guessing this is, an Ethernet cable. And uh, yeah, yes, it is a Cat5, there you see. Uh, it's white, and I imagine it's quite long. It's a pretty tidy little bundle. And uh, there's, there's nothing else to speak of in the box other than uh, a warranty form. So moving on to the additional adapter. This should be pretty much identical to the other unit that we had, the larger unit, in the startup kit. But it retails for a whopping $109.99. There you can freeze frame this and read all the information about it. It is very generous of these to have two gigabyte Ethernet ports on the end of them. As you can see here, there is a bit of a breakdown on that. But it is it's pretty much identical to the unit that we've just taken out of the main starter kit. So what we'll do is we'll go and get these plugged in. And we'll start typing up a, a review to have it with you in the next couple of weeks as to how well these perform. Especially how easy they are because the boxes do make out that they are ridiculously simple to get going. For the price, I expect the world from these. But uh, check the show notes for a review in the couple of weeks. Hit that subscribe button, turn on any notifications, and I'll update you on these in the near future. Thanks for watching, and take care.